name is Lauren Pitney. My pronouns are she, her. I am the softball GA and I am getting my master's in athletic administration. I grew up in Antonia, Connecticut, a small town. I have two brothers and a sister, so growing up I spent a lot of time with my two brothers playing baseball. I got into the sport of softball through the sport of baseball, so I was just going in my backyard, throw up a ball, hit it as far as I could, go pick it up. Actually, I went to, to Manhattan College and that's where Coach Kate went. We didn't never play together, but uh, we just knew each other, knew of each other. I knew how good of a coach she was. Um, so I'm really grateful to be here. I'm grateful for her to give, her, give me this opportunity. My brothers, one of my brothers is a year older than me, so we were really cl close growing up. Everyone always thought we were twins. I would like beat up on him until he got stronger than me. Then I had to stop because I just got, couldn't take it anymore. We, uh, as a family, we have Sunday dinners and it's just a great time to bring everyone back together. And they live close. My other brother lives with me at home. So just really grateful that I always get to spend time with them. I am not officially out, like fully out. Um, the whole process was pretty challenging for me because well, for starters, I didn't know I was gay until freshman year of college. Had a little bit of an inkling. Everyone kind of labeled me as gay just because I played the sport of softball, and that's definitely a, a stigma I'm trying to break for my players, my friends, so on and so forth. Um, it just really like ate away at me as a child because they just assumed I was gay just because I, of a sport I played. And it's so ignorant, so inaccurate. Unfortunately, I, I was outed by somebody else, not myself, so that was like a really big struggle. However, I was also grateful for it because I'm not someone that has the courage to just go out and tell people. The hardest part for me, I think, was I was with somebody who I played with and all of the parents of the people on the team knew, all my teammates knew, uh, but my parents. And to see them talk about it or see us interact, and my parents were the only two people that didn't know, it was really hard for me. Me and my mom are really close, and it was the hardest thing for me to just hide it from her. Not that I was like lying to her, but I, would just, I was hiding it from her for two, three years. I didn't end up telling her until my junior year. Um, so when I ended up telling my mom, she was you know, really accepting. I come from a family who is not used to that. Definitely grow up, marry a guy, or marry someone of the opposite sex, have kids after you get married. Definitely like by the books family. And the day that I told her was the day like, my life changed with my mom. We are 10 times closer now, ever since that day. Um, and I'm extremely grateful for that. The next biggest person that I actually didn't tell until March, three months ago, December, I told my sister right before Christmas. My sister and I are really close and we're literally inseparable. She's a few years, like six years older than me. Um, but it was just a struggle to tell her because I didn't want her to not accept me either. I didn't want her to not pick me as her maid of honor. Then she was pregnant. I didn't want her to not let me see my nephew. I was like, I have to tell her. There's no, like, there's no need to hide this from her. This Christmas when I went home, it was just lingering, always on my mind. And when I told her, she was like, I knew all along, like, why did you never tell me? And I was just like, because I didn't feel a need, like I didn't, I knew you would kind of look at me the same, but I always have that fear, like it's really hard and she was super understanding. But other than that, my brothers, my dad, my brother's wife, they don't know officially from me yet. It's probably when I post this video, they'll see. <laughs> Athletics at, at Springfield is extremely diverse in all different aspects of whether you're a part of the LGBT community or, or coaches are or people that work in athletics are. And it's not like y'all pick and chose who got the job or who was recruited. However, it just worked out like that. And, and they're all great people and just the unity on this campus. And that's what I want to bring is just another voice another supporting factor for people who are going through struggles. Deep down, you know who you are yourself and nobody else can tell you how to live, what to do, how to act, what to say. And I don't look at it as this crazy thing that I choose to do, um, but just 
it's not going to happen overnight and it just takes time and more self-confidence needs to be built up and just love yourself and not worry about loving other people. <laughs> it's not about me. I, I don't come out for myself or for anybody to know about my life. It's just to help other people. So the position I'm in right now, I'm a softball coach and whether my, anybody on my team is going through similar experiences or anybody that I coach or have played with is going through similar experiences, like that's why I want to see, that's why, that's why I'm here today talking about it because I want them to feel comfortable in their own skin. I want them to know that I'm a safe space for them to come talk to. Um, that's really it. Like I'm a, if talking about myself can help other people, that's really just the end goal for me.